everyone, welcome back to the vlog. Today it is a new video and it's a new day. It's a beautiful day actually. And um, it's actually quite early in the morning. It's like 9.27. I thought I would start this vlog right here because I have a very exciting day ahead of me. So at like 11.30, 11.50, I think it's actually 12. <laughs> I have like a panel, like a Zoom panel that I'm gonna be doing. Um, so I need to obviously get ready, put on my makeup and look cute um, for that. And that's gonna go on for like an hour and then I'm going to Maria's house. I don't know if you guys remember Maria, it's been a hot minute, but it's my friend with a kid, with a cute ass kid. <laughs> so uh, me and Shecht are actually gonna go visit her and she's gonna cook like an early, or actually, like a late lunch for us. She is like chefing it up. She's just like wifey goals. So I'm excited to see her and all her million cats. And yeah, I wanna look cute for my day. So I thought I'd just start the vlog with me doing a little bit of makeup. Not a, not a whole lot, but um, just a little something something to look cute. And I need to do this quick cause I don't wanna be late for my panel. So I already kind of started doing my brows, but I'm gonna go in with the Urban Decay brow finish and actually urban decay has kindly sponsored today's video so basically all the makeup products that i'm going to be sharing is from urban decay i'm not going to be doing like a whole face or anything but the highlight of this video the whole reason why i'm actually doing um you know the makeup portion is because of this guy over here now y'all know my love for mascara i love a good natural look but the one thing that i don't want to look to look natural is my lashes i want them to look like present you know like this pimple that's trying to protrude out of my face i want them to look bold <laughs> i just came out with a new mascara it's called lash freak in this gorgeous like green epic packaging and honestly when i first saw this mascara i was at, they had me in the first half i was like excuse me sir excuse me ma'am what is this <laughs> it is truthfully the most interesting mascara wand I have ever seen in my life. So let me just do a little close up for y'all because it is, she's unique, look at that. So it has Brussels, Brussels, not Brussels, I said bristles. It has bristles on the bottom as you can see and like on the tip, I love when mascaras actually have bristles on the tip because it makes it really easy to separate and stuff. But then on the top, it's like, there's nothing. So there's a there's a whole technique on how to apply this and I'm gonna be sharing that obviously when I put on my mascara Not right now because I need to do the rest of my face as I mentioned I'm just gonna go in with some brow gel. This is just some clear brow gel. I've actually have I used this before brow finish I know I've used their brow gel before and really liked it, but I feel like it looked different than this So it might be a different formula, but um, I'm just gonna take this and actually I'm gonna load up the product because I love a lot of clear brow gel I'm going to brush that through my bushies. Ooh, I love this brush, okay. I feel like it's really grabbing each of my lashes, like look, lashes. <laughs> each of my brow hairs, I'm coating them so nicely. Also, just as I sat down to record this video, I heard the freaking leaf blower go off again. Y'all know, I'm just, I need to get out of this apartment. This apartment is driving me insane, <laughs> but I think he's gone to the other side of the building, thankfully, so hopefully he doesn't come back because I will be very upset because I am running on a schedule, sir. I'm sure you are too, but I'm more important. I'm just kidding. I'm not. I actually really like this brow gel. Okay. I think this might be my new go-to clear brow gel. I'm not even just saying that. It actually like pulls my brow hairs so quickly. Also, this literally just started coming out when I sat down to film. Like this was not here 15 minutes ago or even 10 minutes ago, honestly. Anyways, I'm gonna go in with foundation. I have been dying to try this foundation ever since it came out. So I'm very glad that this video is in partnership with Urban Decay because now I actually get to try it out and have an excuse to. It's their Stay Naked Weightless Liquid Foundation up to 24 hour wear. So, I mean, I don't need 24 hour wear, but it is very hot in LA this week, like disgustingly hot. I think today it's like 35 degrees Celsius, which I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, but I'll put it here so y'all can understand me. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it'll be nice if this actually stays and doesn't melt because I think we're trying to go to the beach too. This is in the shade 70. <laughs> the leaf blower is coming back, no. Damn it. Okay, well this is in the shade 70 WY. And 
I think it's actually going to be a perfect match. I just kind of like did a, a shade match on Sephora for this foundation. So hopefully it works. I think, I think we might be good. This might be maybe a touch too light, but I think I can work with it. <laughs> Y'all, I don't know why, but sometimes I just break out in an English accent. Oh, this is, this is gonna be a little light. It's gonna be a little light. Maybe I should mix it. I think I might mix it with, I'm gonna mix it with a deeper foundation. One second. Oh, okay. I don't know if that's any better, <laughs> but you know what? We'll work with it. Mmm, this foundation smells nice. What is that? It smells like cleanness. <laughs> I don't know, it just smells nice and clean. But anyways, yeah, I do have my Zoom panel. It's, I mean, it's supposed to only be a 10 minute Q&A. So I'm guessing they're just, you know, filming for an hour just in case. After this, I'm hoping there's like at least like 20 minutes or so that I can just kind of review my answers and stuff. That's what I usually like to do in a panel because sometimes I'd be saying some stupid things <laughs> when I'm not prepared. So that should be fun. I really like doing panels and stuff. It's just, it's really fun for me. Okay, so the foundation actually ended up being quite a great match. As I told you, sometimes when you just first put it on with its full pigment, especially when it's like a full coverage foundation, it can look a little cray. But then once you like blend it out, it's actually, you know, perfect. So let me zoom you guys in a little bit more. I'm also going to use their Stay Naked Correcting Concealer. And this, oh, I just love this reflective packaging with the rose gold and the clear acrylic, it's just so pretty. Um, but this is in the shade 70NY, so similar shade to the other one, but this is like a more neutral version. So I think this is actually, ooh, this is an interesting wand. Ooh, I like this shade, yes. This is like perfect. This is exactly the shade that I try to achieve when I mix like a deeper concealer with like my highlighting concealer. Like this is the exact shade that I try to achieve. So if you're around my shade and you want this concealer, 70NY is actually perfect. I like it. And actually that curved doe foot applicator actually makes it really easy to get around the eye. So I'm a fan. Oh my god, guys. We are so... I know I keep mentioning this. I've been mentioning it for <laughs> probably like two months now. But we are so close to 400k. Like, actually close to 400k now. Like, it's not just like, you know, a thing that I keep mentioning. It's actually happening. Probably by the time I'm uploading this video, we're at like 399, which... 399, y'all. If you're not subscribed yet, listen. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to just hit that red subscribe button real quick <laughs> because we about to hit 400K, y'all. That's only 100K away from half a million. Me, Aisha, getting half a million subscribers would be just, I'm gonna throw a party. It's, it's, just, it's just what needs to be done. <laughs> Let's see how it blends under the eyes. Look how easy that blended, y'all. That was like, what, 10 bumps with my beauty blender? I'm actually obsessed with this concealer. I like kind of just want to put on more, not because I need it, but literally just because it was such a pleasant experience <laughs> and I want to enjoy it again. All right, those two together just made my skin look so good. Look at that, y'all. It's full coverage, but it's like comfortable full coverage, you know? I'll talk about the eyeshadow palette once I powder, one second. All right, back looking like a powdered donut. I like it. <laughs> so now I'm gonna go in with the eyeshadow. This is the Naked Urban Decay Ultraviolet Palette. Look how beautiful this packaging is. Now the Naked Palette slash Urban Decay always will have a special place in my heart because this is the first, like the original Naked Palette, which I don't even think they have anymore. The one with like the velvet cover and like the gold lettering. That was the first like actual eyeshadow palette I ever had. And my cousin Sada actually got it for me. So shout out to Sada. Um, it just has a special place in my heart. And I literally filmed, I want to say like the first 
three or four years of my videos with that one eyeshadow palette like i used the heck out of that palette but anyways this is uh different it's purple lots of beautiful purples and some like rose gold oops, rose goldy shades um i honestly want to keep it quite natural so i don't exactly know what i'm gonna do but the first thing i'm gonna do is go into the shade hacked which is just this like mauve ish shade i'm just gonna use a blending brush that actually comes with the palette i'm just gonna use this and basically put it all over my lid i actually really like this color and then since the palette doesn't have like a matte deep brown i'm just gonna take the bronzer that i used today and just kind of warm my crease a little bit give it some definition honestly the star of this entire look is gonna be the lash freak mascara so I don't really want to go too crazy with my eyes. I'm also just taking that same mauve purple from the Urban Decay palette and putting that under my eyes. All right, I think that's uh, as basic as I'm going to take it. So I'm going to go in with a shimmery color. There are a few here. Ooh, that's really pretty. I think I'm actually just gonna take the lightest shade in the palette called Trippin', which is this one. It's just like a very soft, shimmery, like buttery color. And I'm just flipping the brush and putting that in my inner corner just to kind of add a little pop. And just for fun, I'm gonna take this shade called Dazed, which is gonna be kind of hard to show you. There you go. It's like a shimmery, peachy color. And I'm going to just take that and very lightly tap it just in the center of my lid just for a little sparkle. I don't really want the color to peek through. I kind of just want the sparkle if you can see that. Take my blending brush and just make sure it's nice and blended out. Pretty. I'm just going to quickly just share a little bit about this mascara. So I have my little pamphlet card over here because I don't know how to memorize anything. But basically, it gives you 23.6 times more volume. I don't know how they got that 0.6, but it's very intriguing. <laughs> and 40% more length for up to 20 hours. So that's the one thing that I like. I like the fact that they actually say for up to 20 hours because I hate when mascaras flake on me. There are certain mascaras that will look nice and then within the hour I have like flakes all up down here and it's very annoying. I have been using this. I used it yesterday and I was like wearing it basically all day. Went to the beach, chilling over here with Shahd at night, you know, like kind of rubbing my eyes because I was a little tired and there were no smudges. Um, it actually is a little bit hard to take off, which it's not waterproof, but that's a good thing because I don't want it to come off, you know? I want it to come off when I want it to come off. <laughs> but um, you can just use like an oil-based cleanser and that'll take it off. But anyways, zoom, 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 zoom. Oh my God, you know that song from TikTok? Me back, zoom, 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 zoom. That's like in my head 24 seven. So first you want to basically just work it in the lashes with the bristles, which is obviously, you know, the top part. My best tip for applying mascara is to hold a mirror literally like so that you can see up your nose like that low and then kind of like stretch your lids like this and then apply it that way. That's way. That way you can see like the bottom of your lashes and you're pulling up and then you know you don't get as much uh, stickiness at the top of your lids which I still will get some product at the top of my lids. It doesn't really bother me honestly. <laughs> Sometimes I don't even remove it. So when I get to the edges of my lashes, I like to take the tip of the mascara and I use that to really just define every single lash wherever it's hard to reach. So that's why I love mascaras with tips like this and especially this one because the tips are actually like the entire head, like it's all around, including on top. So you can get very, very close up. And then I'm just gonna keep wiggling this in to get all the product on. And then for the inner corner, I do the same thing. So I just take the tip, look completely down. Like I wish I could show you guys how I was holding it. I'm literally holding my, my mirror like this, like super low. So once you kind of have the product on um, the way you like it, then you can take the tip of the mascara. You can already see like, 
I'm not even done with this entire application and the mascara looks amazing but I take the tip and then I basically just use the tip to separate any lashes that kind of clumped together this mascara gives you a ton of volume so you're bound to get a few clumps but the tip really just helps at like separating all your lashes and yeah once you have it where you want it then that's where the top comes in so you use the top to basically push up your lash to make sure it like holds the lift and curl so just taking the top part gonna pre press it at the base of my lash and just kind of like push it up a little and then see that little clump over there i'm going to take the tip of the mascara again and just kind of work through that clump and that is how i do the lash with the lash freak mascara so give you a little uh, before and after you can see the difference at how like just lifted how curled how just like beautiful these lashes look like even from far it's so curled like it looks like i have a set of strip lashes on So those are both lashes complete. I'm also going to do just a little bit of mascara on my bottom lashes. I'm just taking the tip. Literally all I'm using is the ball on the bottom and just very lightly going to comb through my lower lashes. What I like to do is just kind of go back and forth like this first. Get the product on there and then I brush through and try not to poke my eye out basically. Mascara is all complete. I'm loving how my lashes are looking. What do you think? I could clean up a bit, but I'm too lazy, honestly. But if you guys want to check out the Lash Freak Mascara, it is available at Sephora. So I will have links uh, down below, as well as the links to like all the other Urban Decay products that I've been using in this video, obviously. Um, but yeah, I think you guys would definitely be surprised if you tried this out. I know it's very unique. Okay, it's very different, very innovative. But I mean, it packs a punch. Look at this. Look at my lashes, y'all. I love it. I love it so much. So check out Lash Freak. Sephora link down below. I'm going to set my makeup with the Urban Decay All Nighter. Here it is. Okay, so I have this lipstick over here. Just a little bullet one called Back Talk. It's a matte. I'm probably going to have to pair this up with a brown lip liner, but I just kind of want to see the color. Yeah, I think this shade is a little bit too pink for my liking. I'm going to put a brown lip liner and probably a gloss, and then I'll show you all the finished look. I am back. Lipstick is complete, and this is the final look, y'all. I know it looks very similar to what I always do, because it is. <laughs> but the lashes are definitely popping today. I'm really, really loving this, so that is it. Thank you again to Urban Decay for um, sponsoring this video, and letting me share the beautiful Lash Freak Mascara with y'all. Look at this. Oh my god. And what's good is that this is actually going to be a vlog of my day. So, you guys will actually be able to see how this lasts throughout the day and how it doesn't sweat off. As I mentioned, it's going to be hot tamales outside, okay? It's going to be hot. But really liking how this looks. I can't stop staring at these lashes. These lashes, y'all. Look at this. How are my lashes that long? They're so close to my brows. Look at that. That is insane. Anyways, I'm going to just kind of like clean up this space a little bit and actually I will share my little setup for the Zoom meeting. So usually, I mean, I like to sit at the dining table, but honestly the lighting isn't that great over there. So the lighting is actually prime right over here. So this is my little setup. I have um, my side table that is usually over here and then I have the basket that holds all of like the prayer mats and the clothes on top and then I have my laptop. So the lighting is actually really nice and then you just get a little pompous grass in the background for, you know, imagery purposes. Um, and if you're wondering, the panel is for later con, um, but we're just filming everything right now so it's all like ready to go. But let me open my little photo booth up so y'all can see this. This is, you know, my little setup. Let's uh, do remind me tomorrow for the next 10 years. Um, and yeah. I was just sitting here and I completely forgot to put on blush. I just realized. I don't know how I forgot to do that because blush is like probably my favorite <laughs> thing to do with makeup aside from bronzer. So I'm gonna 
I was just testing out a blush right here, but Urban Decay has this uh, threesome bronzer, highlighter, and blush duo in Rise. So I'm gonna take this like peachy pink color. I am just going to put that on. Oh yeah, that's pretty. I don't know how I forgot to do blush, y'all. What the heck? Why didn't you remind me? Rude. <laughs> just kidding. And I also like to put a little on my nose. I am just gonna do one last spritz because I want it to still be glowy as again. The all nighter. And voila. Now we have blush. <laughs> just changed my scarf into this instant hijab that basically matches the shirt. So from up top, I'm looking nice and professional and cute. And then from the bottom, I'm nice and comfortable with my yoga pants. So gotta love these Zoom meetings, y'all. It's very, very fun. <laughs> this shirt is from H&M, if you're wondering. It's super cute. It has like these little cuffs and I really like it. So I'm gonna basically just prep right now for all the questions and stuff and then yeah i think chef is coming around like 2 p.m over here because we want to see if we can get a little gift or something for maria because she's literally i already know she's like slaving away in the kitchen right now for us and she deserves something real nice so we're gonna try and find something for her um and i will try to remember to vlog the rest of my day about to start my panel so let's hope this goes well <laughs> Zoom meeting was a success and Shaht is now here to pick me up. So before I go, I'll just quickly show you guys my outfit. I am wearing the same shirt. I just thought that I would change my pants because yeah, I don't know. I like this shirt and we're going to be sitting outside and it's like, again, as I mentioned, super hot. So um, I think wearing this light airy top will do me good. So I'm wearing these jeans from Nasty Gal and they're just these big like oversized kind of like mom jeans, kind of like straight leg. And yeah, that is my outfit. So I am going to go meet up with Shaht and I need to figure out what shoes I'm wearing, but I'll see you guys in her Jeep. Here with Shaht now. Hello, hello. And we are trying to find, yeah, literally in a heat wave. I've been inside for the past week, so I haven't felt LA's heat wave yet, but this is something else. Um, we're trying to find a gift for Maria because she's just like the sweetest human. And the best gift giver. She, it, she really is the best gift hard. giver, so yeah, this is not easy. But she loves food and she loves like, I don't know, worldly, cool things, quirky things, so. And she has a baby, so that might help. <laughs> Can always okay. get something for Amin. Y'all, it Holy. is. I haven't felt this heat My pits before. Literally was drying. No, actually though. <sighs> I hope I don't smell today. Oh, but yeah, the Urban Decay All Nighter. Uh, I know we're just like moaning and groaning. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Urban Decay All Nighter came through though. Oh, child. Okay. This is what we decided on, y'all. She better love it. I'm just kidding. I hope she loves it. It's cute. Hi, kitties. Are you chilling in the house? Guys, we've made it to Maria's uh, cat uh, sanctuary. Cats everywhere. If you can see. Hi, cat. Oh, you're cute. Wow. An actual queen, y'all. She made all of this herself. Hands washed. Mashallah. So it's a fig. Some dried tomato. So the, yeah, actually, the tomato sauce is cooked in a <gasps> balsamic fig reduction. Had to say the art. I don't even know what that means. Do you know what that means? I'm gonna that pretend means. I do. With oh, um, oh what? Yeah, yeah marinara sauce seasoned oh. with uh, what is that? Thyme. Oh my goodness! That looks freaking bomb. And she made dessert. Fig You're fig actually fig a dream. Fig. Can I move in? Okay, wait, the last thing, the salad is... You want it? Say hi! Oh, you want to look at it? Oh, oh okay. Oh, oh, you don't want it. Okay, alright, bye. Say bye! Bye-bye! Bye-bye! Oh, okay. This, I feel like, is something you would find on, like, Abbot Kinney Boulevard. Like, you know? Don't overhype me now. No, this is no overhype. This is the most beautiful... 
Wow. Mm. Yeah, I kind of want to put it sitting right there. So back home, Shah dropped me off. Thank you. Wow. She was lovely. Yeah. Love the day. We're so tired though. I'm like exhausted. I actually want to take a nap. I don't know what this weather did to us, but <laughs> is this guy trying to get in? Oh my god. Oh, I Sorry. No, wait. No, no, no. It's okay. Uh, he's not I, trying not, to, I, I think he's trying to get here. <laughs> Into this one? I, I, I truly don't oh, know. Oh god. You know what? Let's just turn <laughs> around the corner. I don't think you even had to move. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know. See, this did he really just not? What, you know, oh, he's just chilling there. <laughs> we literally just listen, listen. There was a parking spot right there. I, I, no, I you just were literally saw the, in a spot. I saw the turning thing, but I didn't realize it's an emergency thing. But I don't want to oh. go back. Oh, this is me. This is me going back. <laughs> He's just driving it's, off. it's okay, let's just go. <laughs> Anyways, um, I just wanted you guys to say bye to Shah. So bye. Bye. Au revoir. <laughs> so I got home a little while ago, but I had to film like just little things that I added to film. So um I am I got a bunch of packages. So actually <laughs> kind of something very exciting happening tomorrow. My mom is actually coming in town. She is coming to visit me and I'm so excited. We haven't seen each other since February, which is the longest we've been apart from each other. So I'm seriously like so freaking excited. She hasn't been working since quarantine started. Um, or since lockdown started so she's just been like chilling at home bored and you know things are going really well in Canada right now and honestly I don't really go anywhere to the point where like I think it would be a risk of her coming here so I'm really excited to just have her here I've been extremely homesick and obviously you guys know um, Muhammad has been dealing with his own thing so I just feel like it's really I don't know for my mental health it'll be really nice to just kind of like have my mother here and and you know, Muhammad will be able to see her finally and it'll just be like a really nice reunion and my dad was actually supposed to come as well but he has to do some things in Toronto so he's gonna come um, like the the last week that my mom is here my mom's actually staying for three weeks so it's kind of a long time it's gonna be a nice just kind of like mom and daughter like bonding sesh and we just cannot wait like I was just facetiming her a second ago and she's like so excited and she was like telling me what she was packing and like she's bringing like asu and Ethiopian spices and all of this stuff and I just can't wait for her to like cook for me <laughs> and just have my mama here like I could literally cry out of excitement y'all the amount of days that I have just wept and bawled my eyes out and just been so depressed over the fact that you know I haven't been able to see my family in almost seven months now <sighs> my heart needed this so I'm super excited but anyways because of that I did order like a bunch of things from Amazon just to kind of like prep for that I ordered new pillows because the pillows in my bedroom honestly are just not it they're just not comfortable they're like completely depressed now <laughs> let's do a little unboxing here I feel like these are longer than the pillows that I currently have but ooh, it's like unraveling now Ooh, these are gonna be nice I'm just gonna kind of let these get a little bit more fluffy but I think these will be nice I it's had like really good reviews so I'm hoping for the best um, I obviously got two of them. They came like vacuum sealed in this thing. Yeah, and then I got some silk pillow sheets, or sorry, pillow, yeah, pillow sheets, pillow cases as well. And I'm really excited. I, I've had like a satin pillow case before, but I've never had silk ones. And I'm just tired of my bonnet always slipping off in the middle of the night. So hopefully this is a lot better. It's like a zipper closure as well and it's just white so it'll match like my bed sheets. Yeah, I ordered also just some like hair, um, what are these called? Like shower caps and stuff because I know she likes wearing them. Also, I wanted to update you guys on my face because honestly, when I tell you it was hot today, y'all, like I don't think I've ever experienced heat like this in my life. Like truly, it was 
disgustingly hot it felt like i was in an oven like jet like inside of an oven it was so bad i put this makeup on what time was it like 9 30 in the morning and this is what it looks like like literally not a flake of mascara that's not a flake it's a birthmark that i filled in or not a birthmark but a beauty mark like my lashes are still going strong the eyeshadow is still going strong the brows the concealer everything there's like a little bit of a crease here but it's just for how hot it was like mine did not budge you can't even tell that i was wearing a mask like what <laughs> so very impressed with all the urban decay products but yeah i'm gonna kind of just kind of clean up my mat my mess and put everything away probably take a shower and everything but before i remove my makeup i did kind of want to share how this all lasted so i'll catch y'all later once um my house is a little bit more managed. So I totally forgot to end the vlog tonight, but it is the next morning. It is the day my mommy is coming. I'm so excited. She's coming here around like 8 30, 9 p.m. tonight. So as you can hear, I'm doing lots of lo loads of laundry just to make sure the house is nice and clean by the time she gets here. And yeah, I just have to go run some errands. I just thought that I would close this vlog out. Let me go <laughs> over here. It's kind of loud. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, let me know in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up. I will be vlogging when my mom is here so you guys will see everything and yeah thank you again to urban decay for sponsoring today's video and check out the new lash freak mascara in the description box below as well as all the other products that i featured i love you guys and i will see you in my next video bye everyone